Welcome to our loader department, where we focus on building three different vacuum loader series here at our Glen Mills facility. We have our VLs, our XSL, and our GSL. I'm gonna go through a few of the features and benefits that each unit has. Now behind me is our row of VLs. The VL is our standard, our standard vacuum loader. So it comes with a two or five inch dump throat, stainless steel body, cone, lid, standard with a brushed motor, its own control, but it has an option for a brushless motor. Now, if we walk over here, we have our GSL, our gold standard loader. Now this unit, different from the VL, has a three inch discharge to allow for a quicker discharging of material uh, or to help discharge more troublesome material. Has a stainless steel body, aluminum cone, comes standard with a brushless motor and has its own controls. We also have a hybrid where you want all these features of the GSL, but it'll have the standard brush motor that you find on a VL. So here is an example of our standard VL discharge. Now this is from a VL5, not compared to this 12 right here. As you can see, if I put it up like this, there is no support. So you're not gonna be able to just stand it up on its end. You'll have to lie the loader down. Now with the GSL, with the larger discharge, you will actually be able to pick the unit up, pull it out, put it on the ground, and it has protective shrouds on that discharge. So it's self-standing. So if you have to keep it upright, you can keep it upright without damaging anything. So if I pull up this sample again of the, the VL discharge, it actually uses a magnetic reed switch. So it interprets a signal when a magnet gets close enough to the switch to determine whether the loader is in demand. Now with the GSL and the XSL, it's not a magnetic reed switch. It's a physical mechanical limit switch. So it will actually physically, which is why I said physical, touch the discharge flap and trigger on a, a cam, basically. So what it, it will actually push a physical button and in, interpret is the loader in demand. So one of the other features that I just want to mention that our customers have found very useful in the field is our tilt to clean out feature, which is found on the GSL and the XSL. Now, I would like to show you how that operates, but because we don't have these loaders physically bolted down to these stands, and since it's not bolted to a hopper, that's a firm, rigid surface, I'm gonna ask my friend Pete to come help hold it down while I show you how this works. So on the GSL loader, or the XSL loader, there is a latch on the front side of the discharge. So the first thing to do is to unlatch the cone from its locking mechanism found right here. It's a nice bright yellow bracket. And what happens is that it'll loosen it up and it'll tilt it until it hits these stops that are on the cone. And then you latch the yellow bracket to the cone to hold it. Now from there, you'll be able to undo the lid clamps which are just butterfly clamps. You'll be able to lift the lid, lock the lid in place, and pull the filter. And now you have access to clean out the lid, the body, and the cone. And then all you have to do is put the filter back, unlatch the lid, secure it, go back to the yellow bracket, loosen it so it becomes free again, Stand it up, and then the bracket should latch it automatically. It's literally that simple. With all of our vacuum loaders, we have remote capable controls. So specifically looking at the GSL, we have the ability to mount the control to the loader, or at least that's what you see here. But it's able to be pulled off because it's a magnetic mount and it has a good length of cable so that you'd actually be able to bring the controller down to the user operator level. We do offer longer cables as options for both the GSL and the VL. 